What? What happens, Danny? Roll the intro. Good afternoon from South Cambridge for myself and Des, who is still still here. Uh, that's my Starlink router in case you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck that thing is. And Des has been uh, my mascot companion the whole way through this tiny little YouTube journey. In fact, we've flown him on a drone, uh, 214 feet we got to. That was in an earlier episode when we were doing some crazy stuff, but not serious, serious things, talking about Starlink. Uh, I'm not messing about, but before we talk about the serious stuff, uh, let's show you the shape because categorically you have voted in your numbers. I asked the question before I do every episode to the Discord family, what do you want to see? And they say shape. So here are the sheep. And quite frankly, they're pretty boring. They just sit there and eat and get massive and I, I don't understand it. I, I, they, they become pointless. They also are uh, not very risk averse. They, they tend to get tons of disease and it's almost like they don't want to live. But yeah, that's the sheep. And to prove that this was done today, at the end of the video, I'm going to have a one minute extended footage. I did my iPhone. And I give you commentary of what the sheep are actually doing in the field. At six o'clock in the morning. <sighs> anyway, on with all things Starling speed test as always. Are running in the corner. Still haven't figured out which corner it is. I think when I point there. Yeah, it's probably there. And it's running well. New firmware seems to be good. It's not faster. It's better in terms of ping. I've noticed that ping seems to be getting forced down a little bit and over the last few weeks in particular I've noticed that that seems to be where they're focusing efforts. It's latency. Uh, with the global rollout now imminent, August I believe, ping is going to be really relevant because if you're a gamer, well it matters. And on the subject of ping in the description below like last episode, I have a link to Dropbox which has a ping to Google servers this morning for an hour or so. And you can check those out for yourself and see what you think. But it's definitely running a lot better. Now I've noticed upload as well improving. And it's becoming so good, literally a few seconds a week downtime. And I think that is probably better than some FTTP and FTTC in terms of stability. I've been really impressed with it. My wife hasn't complained, which means it's been running well. Her business calls have been going good. There's no dropouts, no screaming for help from technical or to technical support, which is myself and I'm not very good at that. I do try. I do try, I try my best, but yeah, sometimes my best isn't good enough. And on the subject of best not being good enough, people are starting to leave their current ISPs. Yes, I haven't done it yet. I'm still with Zen on my backup. However, the backup, as I just looked at it right there, it is sat there. It's not getting much use and I'm ready to pull the plug on it. I've got it there just in case. I'm, I'm quite uh, risk adverse. I don't want to don't want to do it yet. We've got, we got thunderstorms inbound today and that's going to be really interesting. Now I'll give you an update on how it performs under the new firmware uh, with thunderstorms. But people and their numbers have been leaving their ISPs and Starlink has now become sole provider for quite a lot of people. So moving on to some weird stuff that I found on Reddit that made me laugh a little bit. This. So this is a bloke that decided to attach Starlink does bonnet. No idea what or when that seemed like a good idea. I was a police officer for 15 years. It's hard to believe, I know. But yeah, if I came across this, not quite sure what I'd do, to be honest. First of all, I'd asked, do you need sectioned? But then who am I 
to judge sanity. Check this out from five years ago. Facebook likes to remind me of the crazy stuff I've done. Like this is where I'm singing in about. The pool. Swimming in the poo. I like swimming in the pool. So on to Starlink and BT and Virgin and all the other massive providers here in the UK. I've been getting spammed relentlessly by their ads. So what, what, what do you do whenever you know you cannot get it to your premises? I can't get fiber to premises. I know I might be able to by December 2026. So I started replying to the ads and I got blocked by BT, got blocked by Virgin. They didn't like it. This is what I said. Hey, thanks for the ads continually popping up in my timeline. As great as this sounds, not being able to provide FTTP until 2026 to South Cambridge, Virgin Media. Not at all. Starlink in early 2021 became my only viable option for high speed internet. Please to say, it's now flipping amazing. And I put a link to my last video. I don't even know if they watched it. They deleted my posts. Well, they blocked me, so I feel good that it's a fair market out there. If you put something that's honest, you just remove it. So moving on to some of the other topics that have been making the headlines this week. Uh, uh, Mr. Musk, Big E, has been on uh, numerous interviews talking about Starlink and SpaceX and the cost of it. So the units that we currently receive cost a lot of money and they're selling them at a loss. And he mentioned bankruptcy. Now I would say that he said that in jest because the projection is that Starlink will make 30 billion a year in profit eventually, which is fairly nice. And of course, all the other companies are looking at these figures and looking at Starlink and they're wanting to muscle in on it. One web BT mergers popped up recently and that's one that Honestly, I think they're too far behind. And there's a lot of people chipping in, throwing in cash into this, UK government. Uh, it's not about trust, but I think that they're trying to set up a new service, which Starlink has already done. It's, it's miles ahead. I don't feel that this is really a threat to the market. The only way to catch up with Starlink now is to hinder them or prevent them from expanding. So it's quite exciting that as a Starlink user, I get to see massive improvements, uh, part of this global rollout now, and uh, I love it. I think it's I think it's exciting times. It's a bit like being an early adopter, I suppose, of the iPhone. You look where that is now. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's not compare them because I'm sure you've divided opinions on iPhone. So as promised at the start of the video, I'm going to leave you with this footage from this morning, sheep. I don't get it. It does make me laugh that you're so fascinated by sheep. Anyway, whatever you're doing for the rest of the weekend, have a good one, and I will catch you later. Good morning, Discord people, just to prove this is 100% authentic. Man, I'm a word, it's a sheep. Right there, there's one hiding here. Sneaky bastard. There. I had to stop and say there. Just in case you didn't see him. But yeah, he's in the middle of the frame. In case you still can't see him. He thinks that we can't see him and he's hidden. It's probably a her. Or a they. It's a sheep. Some more around here. Yep, all hidden. Hard to see them. Big one there, blackhead. In fact, if I buy, sometimes I come over, but don't know if we're there yet in our relationship with buying, etc. There you go, live, live cam, sheep. This is South Cambridge.